I feel like I just watched this movie. Hot take. The Depp Heard Trial is brought to us by director Sarah Lohman and stars Mark Hapka, Megan Davis, and Melissa Marty. The tumultuous relationship of Depp and Heard, dramatizing the two-month defamation trial that concluded with the jury finding Heard had defamed Depp by alluding to domestic violence allegations against him. It's not really a synopsis, that's just kind of what happened, but whatever, IMDb. So hot take the Depp Heard Trial is, you guessed it, a dramatization of the Depp Heard Trial. It was heavily publicized for the six weeks that it was going on, and it seems like that was all everybody was talking about. And now, not even two months later, we have a movie about the whole thing. They had to have been working on this movie while the trial was still going on. My first thoughts are, this is gonna be shit. And well, it ain't great. But I will say it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Now at its heart, this is really just kind of a Cliff Notes version of the trial with some dramatizations of things that we learned in the trial. If you kept up with that trial to pretty much any degree, this is not going to tell you anything you don't already know. Now you just get a few loose dramatizations of what you've heard. No pun intended. Now that's a double-edged sword because I will say that one thing this movie doesn't do is take sides. There are a few times as it goes on that you think it's going to take one side or the other but then it turns it back around. The vast majority of this film is a few courtroom scenes that are pretty much exactly what you saw if you watched the trial and then a few dramatizations of the stuff that was said in the trial. It didn't seem like they went and added anything extra here or there. There's a few scenes that we get of some people talking behind the scenes here or there, but none of it seemed like it had some type of agenda or anything like that. These few small conversations could have very well been things that took place that we just didn't see because they were in places that didn't get filmed. And I did like that about the movie. It didn't come in with a preconceived notion. It didn't say, hey, we're all team heard or team dep. It just said, hey, here's what the fuck happened. Beyond seeing some small dramatizations of shit that you have heard about a hundred hundred times at this point, there is not much else that this movie has to offer. We don't get any more insight on either of these two human beings. We don't really see any other stuff that happened that we didn't hear about or learn in the trial. There's just nothing added to it. Now, that being said, I didn't want the filmmakers to come in and add their own view or any of that stuff to it. I was hoping that there would have been some stuff that we didn't hear about, some things we didn't see, something new to add to all of it. But no, there's not. So that would probably lead someone want to say, well, maybe this movie is for the people that didn't follow the trial. You know, like those five people over there under a rock. And not really, though, because you do have to have a bit of a built-in information about this film to really understand what's going on. While it does get you up to speed and tell you some things, there is a lot of information that is left out of this movie. I mean, the movie's only about an hour and a half long. And if you weren't familiar, at least to some degree, with this trial and the things that happened, then this movie's story and all the stuff that's going on could be a bit lost on you. That being said, I don't know who the fuck isn't at least up to speed somewhat on this trial because you just couldn't get away from that thing. So it's not really for people that are familiar with the trial and it's not really for people that aren't familiar with the trial. So who is this movie for? And the answer is, I don't fucking know. So I don't really see the point in this movie. Now that's not to say that every single movie out there has to have a point and a message, but there has to be a reason to watch it and I don't really know the reason reason to watch this film. Now, as I record this review, I look down at IMDb and see that the movie is rated a 2.8 out of 10. And while, yes, I will say this movie's not great. We'll get into some of the more technical stuff in a moment. A 2.8? I don't think it's that bad. The story just is what it is. I mean, it's the trial. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. So if you didn't like that story in the trial, you're not going to like this movie. If you found something in that trial story that you did like, like a lot of people out there, then the story aspect of this film, you'll find something you like. Me, myself, I just thought it was a very vanilla telling of it all. Not terrible, but definitely not great. The performances as a whole are okay. I mean, none of them are great or anything. Mark Hapka and Megan Davis look the part as Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Especially Mark Hapka. There are parts in this film that he looks exactly like Johnny Depp. No, there's also a couple of parts he doesn't, but for the most part, he's very convincing as far as looking at him to be Johnny Depp. Megan Davis is similar to Amber Heard, but she doesn't look as spot on as Mark Hapka does to death, but she does still look the part enough to sell it. And also her inflection, the way she spoke was very Amber Heard. Now when it comes to Hapka's depth, 
The way he spoke, well, let's just say it was less of a performance and more of an impersonation. Anyone who's heard Johnny Depp talk in real life, especially during that trial, knows that he has a certain deliberate way that he speaks. And Hapka does perform that here, but it doesn't really seem like Depp. He never totally sold me on him being Johnny Depp. He seemed like a really good Johnny Depp impersonator, but never Johnny Depp. And even though I wasn't like totally sold on him being Johnny Depp in the film, he did a lot better job than I thought thought this movie was going to provide for us. Neither of them are what I'd call great. Nobody's really great in this film, but they're not really bad. They're just kind of there. That's kind of everybody in the movie for the most part. It seems more like they found people that are good impersonators of these famous people and just put them in the movie for that. Not really so much on their acting skills, just will you sell it from a visual and sometimes auditory standpoint. And for the most part, yeah, they do, but nobody ever really convinces you that, yeah, you're that person. Some of the other smaller performances in the film aren't so great. I mean, most everybody does okay-ish, but there are a few, a handful of pretty fucking bad ones. The first one that stood out to me and made me wonder if I was going to make it through this movie was in the first few minutes we hear an off-screen director speak. And when I say it's bad, that's not the right word. I don't know if there's a word for how awful this read is. It's pretty fucking laughable. What it really sounds like is that it was someone reading the lines off-screen for the shoot and then they were going to dub over it, but they never dubbed over it. It's really fucking bad and kind of sets a tone early in the film. There are a few other side characters that aren't so great, but overall, I will say the performances here, while definitely not great or even good, they are passable for what this movie is trying to do for the most part. Look, I'm trying to be nice to this movie, okay? The overall look of the movie is okay. I mean, it doesn't look like it costs like millions and millions and millions of dollars, but it doesn't look nearly as cheap as I thought it was going to be, seeing as how it is a movie about something that just happened less than two months ago, and it's already complete and in our hands. The look is fine. I mean, it doesn't look bad nor good. It's just average. It's what you expect. Guys, there's not really much more I can say about this movie. If you've seen the trial of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, then there's nothing that this movie has to offer you. If you haven't seen the trial, well, there's not enough that this movie has to offer you. Watching the movie play out is more like watching a lot of celebrity impersonators than watching actual actors. That being said, seeing as how the movie is just really a series of vignettes, it kind of sort of works. It's not great by any means, and I was never like totally enthralled by the film, but I will say that I was never absolutely totally bored with it either. It's not a good movie, but it is better than I thought it was going to be, that's for sure. And I mean, come on, it's free on Tubi. And while the cost of a film shouldn't really play into its rating, I mean, come on, it's fucking free. Is it a movie that I'm ever going to watch again? No. Is it a movie that is going to offer anything to most people? No, but it is free. So if it is a film that you at least are are interested in taking a look at and giving a chance, then go to Tubi.com and check it out on stream. Across the street. Now, while my streaming rating isn't like the highest rating by any means, it's kind of middle of the road. If this movie cost anything at all, if it cost you a fucking dollar to watch, it definitely would have been back on USA Up All Night. I would not pay money for this movie and don't seek it out. But if you're just looking for something to watch for the night and you had at least somewhat of an interest in the Depp Heard trial or you just want to see how this whole thing turned out, then check it out one night. And worst case scenario, you'll get a kick out of some of these impersonations. So there it is, guys, my review of Hot Take, The Depp Heard Trial. If you enjoyed and want more content like this, Hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you want to help out the channel, check out my Patreon in the description below. Make up a jar and get some of the awesome benefits that go along with that, like these guys. And possibly check out my top tier and become a bad motherfucker, like my man Silverlock and Marge G. And also check out my subscriptions here on YouTube down below as well. If you liked what I had to say, give me a like. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, stay sexy, whatever in the fuck the name of the island that Johnny Depp owns that I am too lazy to look up right now is. You listen to her lies, her allegations. Your Honor, may we introduce the next tape? Can't wait to see what's next. I'm probably gonna catch some shit about this review because people are like shitting all over this movie. But I mean, a 2.8, really? 
I mean, damn, the movie's not good. But 2.8? fucking eight? If a movie's a 2.8 and below, it's like offensive. There's something about it that you hate. There's nothing in this movie that elicits that type of response from me. I mean, like I said, it ain't good, but it's just kind of there. It's what it is. And it's fucking free. And yeah, real world here, while I like to say that the cost of a film doesn't really factor into my review score, when it's fucking free, it's fucking free, so that lightens the blow just a bit. I feel like it's just kind of a bandwagony thing to jump on this movie and shit all over it at this point. And that kind of puts me in a position where I feel like I'm defending the movie, and holy fuck, I don't want to defend this movie because it's not a good movie, but goddamn. 2.8? Come on, man.